you'll see that I've installed the extended read permission plugin version 3.1. Um, this activates the feature. Um, if I go to configure global security, you see I'm using matrix based security, um, which is the matrix auth plugin. Um, and I've configured it to give my system reader user overall read and overall system read. Um, they need both, they're not connected, um, but in order to log in, you need read. Um, so I'm going to now swap to a different session. Um, and if I go here, system reader, system reader, um, welcome to Jenkins. He said so there is some jobs, but he doesn't have access to see them. Um, you probably wouldn't do that in a real world. You, the system reader probably is allowed to see jobs, um, but I just haven't added the permission. Um, so as you can see here, you can see, actually I might just pop back to the other view so that you get to see a total, um, to see everything that um, an admin currently sees. You see at the top is the admin monitors. Um, that's not implemented yet. Um, it needs some careful um, work so that, um, so that the system reader user can't do some of the actions they shouldn't be able to do. Um, so you see here there's three, six, nine, twelve, about twenty, about about twenty pages um, available. Um, so there's a couple ones that are, just, are not planned at all to be implemented. So those are ones that are actions rather than um, actual pages. So prepare for shutdown as an action, um, reload configuration from disk, um, and the script page, which the only thing it does, oh, sorry, not this one, um, the script console. So that just allows you to actually run code, um, which will never be, should never be allowed. So just going back to system read, um, these are the views that are coming very shortly. Hmm. I think I forgot to install my last version of the configurations code plugin. Um, hold on. Or possibly I forgot to restart. I think I forgot to, um, sorry, I might, I'll just leave that actually. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Um, so you see here, global, configure global security. Um, you see it's a read only view. So there was an earlier permission implemented back in 2009, extended read. Um, that just, that gave users access to view job configurations, but didn't actually change the UI. Um, so that was quite confusing to users. Um, so one feature that we developed as part of this was adapting the um, HTML inputs and HTML UI um, to be clear to users that they can't interact with it, they can just see it. Um, and in the certain cases where they can interact, making it obvious that they can. Um, so the system reader user can here see who has access, see who has permissions. They can see the security warnings um, that are on this instance um, and to see the configuration that's set. Um, one of the very interest, one of the, the, the configure system page is implemented. So a user can come down here and they can see all the configuration. You'll see here that some of this doesn't look fully um, read only. Um, that's because some of these, the UI is implemented in the plugins. Um, so we've done incrementally, um, but everything that we have control of in core um, is, is being implemented. Um, and you see here, it tells you if a field isn't uh, populated, it says uh, not applicable, and it's got some styling on it to show that it's the system read um, that is changing this. Um, the other thing I wanted to show, but um, I don't, I think I forgot to um, do a last compile, um, is the configuration as code plugin. I implemented that just in about 15 minutes, just changed a little bit of code. Um, and was able to get it so a system read user could um, go to the configuration's code page, so they could view the configuration, they could download it, um, and view the schemas and whatnot. So all the sort of 
uh, user-facing documentation um, and uh, the currently running configuration. Um, what's going on in chat? <laughs> um, was there anything else? Just thinking. Ah, uh, yeah, right. So I'll just quickly show a little bit of the, so for the developers that might be interested in this, um, I'm not really sure what the user audience here is. Is it mostly users or developers? Um, so I'll just quickly show a little bit of code um, for what um, plugin um, developers um, need to change. It's not very much. Um, and most of it doesn't require um, raising the Jenkins core version. Um, so if, um, if you have a management link, uh, it's probably, I might just show um, matrix auth plugin. So this is a very simple plugin, which require, well, it's very simple to adapt to system read. Um, why that changed. Um, so there's a control in core called is admin. Uh, so anything that you don't want to show on the page, you hide it with is admin. Um, so if I go to configure global security, um, you'll see that this add user or group button has been hidden um, to read only users. Um, so it's just not there. Um, so that's, that's using the um, jelly tag is admin. There's also um, feature detection. Um, so rather than, so this, this is a, this plugin needed some JavaScript adaption done. Um, so the submit and apply buttons are hidden on pages where the user is read only. Um, see down here, there's no save or apply button. Um, so in matrix auth, we detect the um, button is present by querying for the submit button class. And if it's not present, then we disable the um, checkboxes. Um, another class of, uh, not, probably not this one. Uh, so most of this is driven off the read only mode, um, jelly context variable, um, where um, the top level page or the, to the layout will set whether it's read only mode based on um, whether it's administer or not. Um, and if it's read only mode, then the jelly tags will adapt the UI, um, which in some cases means that you don't need to do any other UI changes at all. Um, I think that's actually a fully read only view. Um, so that's an example of a groovy view setting read only. Um, plugin manager um, has the jelly example. Um, so I was planning on including this in the slide deck, but I didn't quite have enough time um, just to show some very short concrete examples. Um, but this is basically the jelly fragment that gets copied around um, JChoose, which is basically a complicated if else block, um, does a permission check, and then sets the value true or false, depending on what's needed. Um, and the, the last class of um, examples that I'll show is um, a plugin that needs to adapt and needs, it needs to access the core um, dependency. Um, so not matrix or. Um, let me just go to a role strategy plugin. Um, so this plugin needed to add a dependency on the extended read permission um, plugin. Um, and also needs to bump its core version to 21384 because that's the baseline for the extended read permission. So it may require a minor bump, but it doesn't require going to 222. Um, so the reason that it needed this bump was it needed, um, it adds its own pages. Um, so it has a management link, so it needed to directly um, reference the permission. Um, extended read permission does so reflection lookup, um, depending on your core version. Well, no, actually not depending on your core version, it just tries to look it up. Um, and if it finds it, it'll give you system read. And if it doesn't find it, it will give you administer. Um, 
and that's basically it. That's the main examples. Um, there's also an as admin or manage. Um, if anyone needs to support the manage and um, system read permissions, which was also introduced recently. Um, but that's all I have. Does anyone have any questions or want to see anything else? So, so Tim, I did have a question. If you're okay with, I'm just barging in and and going to ask. Um, so, as a plugin developer, I've got a plugin platform labeler as an example that has a global configuration page which has check boxes on it. Um, mm -hmm. Are the check boxes something that I'm going to need to adapt in my plugin, or will System Read some, somehow <laughs> magically take care of showing the state of those check boxes for me? Um, so is that on the um, configure system page? It is. Um, it's one of its one of its pages is or one of its things is added to the configure system page. Um, so you'll see here that um, that oh. this page here is already marked as read only. Um, so if you don't have permission to configure any, anything on this page, then it will automatically set read only for your configuration page. This page is slightly more complicated because there's a manage permission as well. So you can be allowed to manage parts of this page and also read only parts of it. So it basically checks where you, you have the required permission at, on each descriptor. Um, and based on that, it will set read only mode. So these ones here, there's no special changes. As long as you're using standard jelly tags, so if checkbox and you're not writing standard HTML, so the problems will happen if people are either um, making their own jelly tags or um, writing HTML rather than the jelly tags. But as long as you're not doing that, then no, you shouldn't have to make any changes unless you want to enhance the UI to look a bit nicer. Um, so on quite a few of the um, management link pages, we have um, done minor things to hide buttons and uh, whatnot, um, but haven't really done any effort and it looks reasonably good. Okay, and so how and I could test, I can test this by installing the extended read permission. Now, do I need to install 2.222 to test this myself? Yeah, um, so let's have a look at it now. Okay. The platform labeler. Are you, you're really, yes, platform labeler, vitally important. Many, 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 yeah, okay, maybe not vitally important, but yes, platform labeler. Uh, no dash. There it is. And so what it will do on the system page, on the configure system page, is it should add a checkbox that's called automatic platform labels. Oh, it did it. Cool. So no change on my part as a platform, as a plugin maintainer, and the UI still retains my help and retains the value of the checkboxes that were defined, even though this particular plugin actually does not support configuration as code at all. This, this specific yep. plugin has no support for configuration. It will eventually, but it doesn't right now. And yet I get system read. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Cool. Anyone? Else got any questions or any more questions from Mark? So could you take us back the, the page the, just for my reminder, it was matrix auth was a good example of place where I could see the jelly markup and role strategy. Those were two. Are you likely to do a blog post or some other or maybe a, a web pages to Jenkins.io that we can use to read this to learn how to do it? Or is uh, it best to use video for now? Uh, nope, there is a page on Jenkins.io. Um, it's the only page in the views section. Um, so this is the documentation here. Um, I should have mentioned it earlier. Um, so this one was um, slightly aimed towards, well, it's a mixture of both extended read. So this one here is looking for configure, not administer. Um, this one here is aimed at how making system read and manage work together. Um, and this is, um, this one here is more for tag lib developers. So if you've got your own tag, um, then these are some of the changes that you might want to do. Um, and this is how, so you shouldn't need to do a lot of this um, because most of it's handled for you in core. 
but these are kind of some examples of the changes that were done in core um, to make it easy for a um, developer to, to consume them. Um, but yeah, and I expect this to be updated a bit as I think this was written pre-merge. Um, it's still accurate, but could probably had, have some improvements. Um, and yeah, I am planning on doing a blog post. Um, I've just been working on getting this feature more out there just because I think it looks better if the feature is uh, more complete than just two pages. Uh, that, that is that is elegant. Thank you. Thanks for showing the demo. Thanks for doing a live demo with a pro plugin you've probably never seen before and having it work. That's that's impressive beyond impressive. Well done. <laughs> I've never seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> it's an excellent plugin. You would love it. You need it. <laughs> so yeah, it's great to see this feature in the weekly release. Yeah, uh, taking the current discussion in the developer mailing list, it looks like it's going to land in the next LCS baseline because we are about choosing 2.222 new LCS, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, there is still a lot of uh, changes which need to be done uh, to make it uh, fully complete, but hopefully by the next baseline, we'll uh, be able to integrate fully uh, complete um, user experience for those who want to use uh, system permissions. So now, now, Tim, I guess one one concern for people running production installations: if I don't install the extended read permission plugin, this is by default off. So yeah. I, I I'm I'm safeguarded from it. I have to install extended read permission plugin. Do I then have to enable some checkbox which says yes, turn no. this on? No, so there's two ways of doing it. You can, well, three ways. Um, you can run some Groovy script um, if you want to, to enable or disable it. You can set a system property to enable or disable it. Um, and you can install the extended read permission plugin, which will automatically enable it. You can also then set a system property to disable it if you want to, and you have the extended read permission plugin installed. Um, so you've got many options, but the recommended way is just to install the extended read permission plugin and it will activate it for you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you for an excellent presentation. That was great. Now, Oleg, you mentioned about the, the recording. I actually don't know. I see that the recording says it's running. I make no commitment that it's actually running given how, unre how the behavior has been. But I propose we call it the meeting done and see if the recording gets saved. If not, uh, yeah. Tim, we may beg you to present it again later. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stop the recording now. I I have the the function to do that, and then uh, I will edit this video at some point uh, later today. So yeah, I am going so to stop the recording now. Mm -hmm.